11 of them for the open pace. It has been an unbelievable 39th edition of the Breeders' Crown Championships presented by the Libfeld Cats Breeding Partnership. It's been a lot of fun over two nights, and uh, we've crowned 11 great champions. We're set to crown a 12th before we put a bow on this year's championships, and this is just one of those races where you appreciate it a little bit more uh, with the presence of so many great horses and headlined Ken by the big fella, Bulldog Hanover, two to five, making his final Canadian start. Indeed, he's the poster boy of racing this year, no doubt about it. Uh, Dexter Dunn, it's been his Breeders' Crown this year, three titles tonight, and looking for a fourth. Jack Darling and company have uh, treated Bulldog Hanover to audiences all over North America this season, and tonight is a worldwide audience tuning in to see what he'll do next as he takes on 10 other foes in this Breeders' Crown Championship, the one that defeated him last time out in Lexington, Alleyweg Hanover 3, the speed factor of seven tattoo artist right now at eight to one. The gate swings off the turn into the stretch. Time for the heavyweights of harness racing. It's the open pace. And they're off in a good beginning in the center for American Courage, who blasts out of there under the orders of Bongiorno. Outside of him is Tattoo Artist, Alleyweg Hanover up into the mix in third. From the inside, this is the planned fourth there. Fifth outside is Bulldog Hanover, sixth up in the center, working on him as three. Pole sitter, my pal Joe, towards the inside is seventh. From the second tier emerges Poseidon Sealster. He's tracked in the backfield early by a buck a bet Hanover. Final two in the field, Lose Perlman and Warwee Vital to the back of the bus, quarter and 26 flat. On that lead, Tattoo Artist. Here comes Alleyweg Hanover on the outside now, traveling up to grab that racetrack on the way to 3 8 Tattoo Artist goes into release mode. Alleyweg Hanover strikes the front, and here comes Bulldog Hanover now, brushing up powerfully to take on Alleyweg Hanover on the way to the midway point. Alleywag Hanover at the inside. Bulldog Hanover on the outside getting stretched out and bid for the lead in the back stretch. Halftime, 53 and 1. Into the far turn they go. And it's Bulldog Hanover on point now. The racetrack is his. Alleywag Hanover shadows him again. Back into third is tattoo artist American Courage underway from the backfield, working on a mystery, moving up on cover. This is the plan. Scooting through is my pal Joe, then Poseidon Sealster. Warwe Vital shoots the gap at the rail. Outside a buck about Hanover, trailing his loose per Roman, three quarters of a mile for Bulldog Hanover, and he's over there in 120 and three. Right there, second is Alleywag Hanover starting to edge from a pocket, but he'll have to make up two on Bulldog Hanover, and Bulldog Hanover pacing out to a three length lead now. Back into second, fully extended is Alleywag Hanover. Tattoo artist scrambles for race track lady on the outside third. It is Bulldog Hanover. He is, he is Opening up in deep stretch now to a five-length lead, and it's Bulldog Hanover, a crowning moment on Canadian soil for Bulldog Hanover, and he's home in 146 and four, a stakes record performance, and he's tied the track in Canadian record. Bulldog Hanover in the crown crushes. All right, we are uh, right in the midst of a very busy and excited winner circle. Uh, Bulldog Hanover, the great champion, uh, acting like a great one uh, despite this huge crowd uh, very well behaved We're going to get a quick clip with john malley of the conditioner uh, what a ride it's been for you john uh, just try and put this into words oh it's been unbelievable especially all the people like it's crazy <laughs> but a lot of fun at the same time a lot of pressure but it's fun all right we're gonna let you go here john we just wanted to get a quick word from you congratulations thank you all right we will catch up with the rest of the connections here in just a moment as we uh Get through the winter circle photos and Bulldog Hanover 146 and 4. Again, we'll hear from uh, winning driver Dexter Dunn, winning co owner and trainer Jack Darling, and Brad Grant just moments from now. <laughs> Our Breeders' Crown Championships come to a close, and uh, what a way to cap it off! Bulldog Hanover atones for the lone defeat last time out it was a little bit shocking for the industry but they came out in full force and supported him tonight and uh, boy did he answer the bell dexter dunn and and what a way to cap off an incredible weekend for you uh was he as good tonight or was he as better than he's been even uh he felt great tonight you know um you know the fractions were fast but we had a good helmet you know until into the back streets after the first quarter and when he marched on there got in the front and uh you know, he grabbed hold of me like he, he has most of the year and his big miles and uh, gave me a lot of confidence coming at last turn. Ali Wegg on your back again. Were there any concerns, you know, before the last quarter? It was a little bit. You know, he's obviously, I could feel him on my helmet there. But, um, you know, my guy just felt like he was full of running tonight. And uh, 
I thought he was going to be pretty good tonight to get past me. Um, you know, he probably didn't feel the same at, at Lexington. It was a bit of a shame, but um, he's just an amazing horse. Jack Darling, uh, again, the crowd we see out here and uh, the amount of photos people want to take. And I know this was uh, happening all week long in anticipation of this. Uh, the whirlwind ride continues. Uh, try and describe it. it. It's been exciting, but I mean, the, the pressure going into this race for me was excruciating. I mean, the, of the fans, all the fans, and like I just wanted him to win so badly for the for the fans. Turning for home again, uh, same scenario as last time. You're on the lead, Aliwag Hanover on your back, but when you start, started to see him step away, how did that feel? Oh, it felt so good. When we started to step away, I, I felt really good about it. I knew he was right back to himself, and uh, I, I've seen him do it so many times that I'm kind of counting on him. His fans want to know, uh, will we see uh, any more from him this year? Does he have more races left on his plate? Yeah, the plan is to race on the 10th, November 10th at Rosecroft, and then he's got one the end of November at uh, the Meadowlands. Excellent. We'll continue. Good luck with him. And, uh, you know, try and uh, relax a little bit after this uh, pressure-packed week. It'll be no problem now. Thanks. Thanks, Greg. And we'll bring in a happy Brad Grant as well. And uh, you, you bought into this horse, uh, Brad, and uh, I'm sure you never dreamed the, that you'd be on this kind of a, a roller coaster ride. Oh, no, absolutely not. It's been just amazing all the way along. And uh, every night gets better. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, maybe just talk about the job that Jack's done with him because, uh, you know, management uh, is so critical to keeping a horse at this level the way he has. Oh, he's done a pretty good job, I'd say. Um, I haven't worried about any of them because Jack does all the worrying. But, uh, I mean, it's been great. Jack's looked after him. Johnny's looked after him. And uh, Dex has done a wonderful job with him. So I can't say enough about the team. Well, the horse might hold the record for the most photos that he's had taken with him and more to come here. Uh, we're going to let you folks enjoy it. Congratulations again. Thanks very much. The great Bulldog Hanover, ladies and gentlemen, 146 and 4, an incredible mile to cap off the Breeders' Crown here at Woodbine Mohawk Park.